Begin this evening with Governor Whitmer's big announcement a short time ago. Michigan's stay-at-home order has been extended to May 28th. Though with that announcement, Karen, came a little bit of good news. The engine that powers the state's economy getting the go-ahead to start back up. Let's get to Rod Maloney live in Lansing tonight. Rod, manufacturing can resume in a way on Monday. That's right, Devin, and it's the news a lot of people have been waiting to hear. We've got, say, tool and die concerns, uh, auto suppliers. They will be starting up as of Monday, getting that week in before the big auto uh, before the big auto assembly plants get started. The governor also made a big distinction today. She said it's no longer stay uh, stay safe, uh, stay at home, stay safe. It's safer at home. We've really pushed the curve down dramatically. We've saved our health system and we've ramped up our PPE and testing and tracing, which has enabled us to safely begin to phase in sectors of our economy. And so it begins. Auto suppliers next week, the domestic three assembly auto plants on the 18th, auto production to begin in earnest, something many have wanted to see. Manufacturing is about 19% um, of our economy and we've already got four to five percent that is already engaged as essential. And so this is a, a sizable part of our economy, but it is an incremental step. While the governor does have a regional reopening map, that's still in the background. She's serious about going slow. And so right now, she's using stages of the virus for her decision making. It's a six step process. The first two, uncontrolled growth, persistent spread, we've passed, thankfully. She says that we are currently in the flattening phase. Ahead, and she says it could go either way when we get there, are improving, moving to containing, and then past pandemic, which comes when there's a vaccine. So for the 75% of Michigan's economy still shuttered, the governor said. That's why it's really important that we continue to, to be smart, to do this in incremental stages, to listen to the data, to ramp up our testing, and continue moving forward. We've done incredible work for eight weeks. So there's a lot more to unpack here, particularly as it surrounds what manufacturers have to do, what employers are going to have to do going forward in order to keep their employees safe. And we'll have more on that coming up on Local 4 News at 6. Back to you. Rod, a lot of moms and dads are wondering whether summer camp is in the cards for their children. The governor talked a little bit about that today. Yeah, she did, and she did not think much of the idea. Yeah. Uh, if perhaps maybe later in the summer, she also pointed out that the camp Grounds are not uh, going to be opening. The state campgrounds won't be opening until probably sometime in the late latter part of June. And so that's what she's thinking is, is possible in that department. Yeah. All right, more from Lansing as we continue with our next 90 minutes of news here. All right, Rod. An urgent